Hello guys, welcome to my channel Code and Chill. In this video, we will be discussing about how you can set up your own actions runner on GitHub CI CD, which is continuous integration and continuous development. And I will show you the live demonstration for that. So let's get started. So over here, I have one of my repos open, which is GoDork, which basically does uh, Google Dorking. Uh, by providing a website address and then you can select the operators and dogs and it will run all the dogs on the Google. <clears throat> so over here to show you the actions part where we will add our runners and everything. In this part we will be discussing about adding the runners. So for runners you need to go to settings and in the actions tab go to the runners. So over here we don't have any runner configured. So we will go to self hosted runners over here. If you want to set up on Mac OS, Linux and Windows, the instructions are different. Like the commands are different. I'll be setting it up on Windows and the runner will be my own host machine, which is the current Windows I'm using. So architecture will be 64. You can choose any according to your preferences. And we will follow these steps now. Uh, we will first of all, go to C, you need to install the runner into C over here just spawn a powershell so over here now we can start executing the commands so just click on this one this command will make actions runner folder and uh, it will go inside that mkdir now actions runner is created after this this will download the zip file we go over here and paste it. This will download the runner's zip file, the actual package, and it will take a while to download. So we can copy the further command. Let me explain you. This is an optional step, like you can just verify the hash that whether it is properly downloaded or not. And then this, this is for extracting the installer that we just downloaded. Uh, it's still downloading. Just hold for a second. And further it will config CMD will actually install all the different commands, unpackage it, and then it will provide the access token over here. This token is for my own PC for setting it up. You can have your different tokens and providing this will automatically add the corresponding install corresponding runner to your own GitHub account. It is still downloading. We can just wait for a while. Moreover, in this runners part, you also need to add some secrets. Like you can add some secret and variables over here. Like I will be explaining that in my further videos. Like in the GitHub workflows, you can have uh, your own ID password, which would be used for GitHub API access. For that, you can go to secrets and variables and actions tab. Over here, you can add your own secrets and environment variables like environment secrets, repo, repo secrets by doing the new repository secrets. And these will be used by own uh, GitHub Actions uh, script for accessing your ID passwords and other folders and everything. So hopefully it is downloaded by now. Yeah, it is done. Now we can go for the further steps, which will be done quickly. This will simply decompress the file. And now we forward. Let's go back to runners. New self hosted runner. And uh, yeah, now we will run, take the token, and configure it. This will ask a few of the questions. You have to configure it properly according to that. So I'll be telling that. Okay, enter the name of the runner group. We don't want to add it a group. Enter the name of the runner. You can give your custom name or you can just leave it like that, whatever it is showing, like it is showing laptop and something. Leave it at those. This is important, like uh, the runner which will be configured here now will have the following names like self hosted, Windows, X64. These labels will be used by your workflow scripts to identify the runner. Uh, so, self hosted actually means that. Uh, the host, the runner which you actually hosted on yourself, just press enter. 
now it will ask the name of the work folder the work folder is where your actual uh, github repository will be cloned and used so you can give a different name or you can simply use underscore work now you click enter there are two options available for you that runner running a following runner as a service or in the foreground so we will be directly running the runner using our powershell command you can also use it as a service so i'll just click enter now runner is configured we can simply go and start the runner over here just put it run dot cmd and this will show the runner is started connected to the github and listing for jobs now your runner is configured if you go back to your settings over here refresh the tab you can see the runner is configured and it is showing idle which means the runner is configured and running but it is not executing your scripts currently so you can trigger your scripts using action tab over here so this is how the runners are set up and for removing the runner you can simply click on these remove runner button it will show you either you can use this command or you can force remove this runner so this is how the runners are set up in the github actions and uh, if you like this video please like and subscribe to the channel thank you